so hi guys today in this video we will be talking about how you can claim this uh, cool looking github batches for your main profile of github so i will be finding a lot of issues while claiming these batches and uh, so i so i don't think it's, uh, why not to make a video for you and there are a lot of uh, very less resources available online to help you out to get these batches uh, even if they are then they might scam you they might not uh, give you the entire process so i'm just basically helping you out to uh, get these entire batches for absolutely free now these batches the main intent of making this video is to uh, help you out uh, to use these batches uh, credibility in a right manner and uh, you can claim these batches by watching this entire video so let's see how you can able to claim these batches so let's talk about whether for the very a batch that is very easy to claim so the first batch which we have is your star strung now the star strung batch is basically uh, you can you can get this batch once you have 16 stars plus on a repository so if you have 16 plus star then you can able to claim this batch and it's automatically added to your profile and then the second batch which we have is your pull shark now pull shark is applicable only if if you have two pull merge request so i just make this a uh, new account for you and this this is just, just a new account for th the testing purpose of this entire video so i'm just thinking to make the entire uh thing and you can, you can able to claim and you can able to see the entire process so so let's just fork this uh, repo uh, so i'm just forking this from my organization tab so over here I just want to add a just just make a new file so let's say add a new file of uh, console dot js and just have this and I'll just contribute this as a pull request and this is my first commit pr so just create a request right and uh, again let's just uh, basically add another pull request let's say if i want to um, add a new line to this the entire thing second time Let's say contribute. Right, so you pull request. So this is added to this pull request also. So let's just add a comment and just merge this up. And again, so we have the first PR merge. And uh, let's say again, go to the PR tab and let's say again. Come the message and to just contribute this this is my second pr with message and we are the request and now we have the two pr got merged if you go to your profile you will see that this batch has been added right that's how you can able to add claim this patch and uh, for the first purposes now now this first patch is done now just go and let's see how you can able to get the yolo batch how you can claim the yolo batch so i just uh, have this resource with me and i just wa watching the entire making the entire tutorial from this entire repo maybe you can i can add the link for this in the rep in the description below you can check out the entire thing now the, the yolo batch is also pretty easy to claim so let's say if we have this claim wherein you can claim uh, if you are you can merging a pr without the code review right so let's see uh, if you have a multiple project let's say if you have this project wherein uh, you want to add something new and you don't want to disturb the entire code base let's say if i want to add a new file let's say uh yeah so let's say if i want to make a new file 
let's say if i have the simple change and over here if i want to contribute that uh, this now i want to uh, add a maintainer uh, and if the maintainer assigns let's say if i want to contribute if i want to open the pr to this let's say uh, and add some changes and just do a pr and then you need to add reviewers to this right so let's say if uh you can add reviewer uh, so there's nothing reviewer over here so let's say if i um, if i just add in my friends account javascript so he's not here so we need to first give the collaboration access so let's say from here on we can just add a people let's say javascript spec and uh, now he got the access so let's say uh, once he uh, over here once he approved the changes then we can again go back to the pr and over here we can add the reviewer so he's not here so first let me just ask him to review and ask him to accept the change accept the collaboration access now he had accepted the collaboration access now let's see uh, if everything went good so let's say if i go to this pr again and if i add the reviewer and uh, i added the reviewer from here and uh, if the reviewer now the message goes to the reviewer that hey you need to review the changes first before the pi actually got merged right so let's say without the yes or without the access or without the permission of the reviewer i just merge this pr right now now i was able to claim the batch now if you look at this i get the yolo batch right that's how you can able to claim the yolo batch uh, it's basically easy to claim you just need to add the reviewer and you need to merge your pr before the reviewer accepts right that's how you can able to claim the batch now the third batch on the row is your quick draw the quick draw batch is also pretty easy to claim let's say uh, if i have uh, if i just open a issue on this tab let's say if i just open a issue test issue and i close this up you will see i got the batch Look at the batch. Now that's how you can able to claim the uh, this quick draw batch. Uh, it's not recommended to do this entire thing. I just using this for the testing purposes. If you if you claim this with this help, then it's bad for your future, right? Uh, I'm just sharing with this in this entire process uh, just to help you out. But if you're using this entire thing for the bad purposes, that's totally bad for your future, right? So that's why uh, use this entire tricks or entire achievements in a in a good manner right again i'm telling to you this is not uh, a quick way to i would say get a job or get anything else right so we got the three batches for you now let's see how you can able to claim the other batches right so let's say if you want to claim the galaxy brain now you need to first so let's say if you uh, if you want to claim the galaxy uh, galaxy brain then you can claim this batch by going to any of the repository of the, any other person and participate in their discussion tab now in the discussion tab if your if your answer is basically uh, upvoted by some, some some x persons then you can able to claim the batch if your if your answer is marked as correct uh, in two different repos then you can able to claim the batch very easily Right, that, that's how the process of the claiming the galaxy brain goes around now the arctic code vault contributor tab is not valid yet so far because this is only valid for the 2020 github archive program now almost two years are passed away so that's why uh, we can't claim this batch now uh, that's the entire thing and you can able to claim the public sponsor batch by if you have the sponsor button if someone sponsor uh, your work then you can be able to claim this public sponsor batch now this must 2020 contributor batch is also the same uh, if you have uh, if you contribute to the repository using the mars uh, 2020 you can be able to claim this entire batch but this is only applicable in almost two years before we can't claim this batch right now so 
we have we we claim this batch we claim this batch too claim we this i i shared the process with you how you can claim this galaxy brain batch this uh, this i also share with you this i all this we this this batch we also claim now the last batch which we have in the row is this pair extra ordinates now this batch is kind of tricky to get so that's why we are we want to use uh, some process to get this batch so the first thing first uh, we need to install github desktop on a system because we need to add collaborators we need to add co-authors uh, which i can't which i can't see which you can able to add uh, from the web itself right that's why we need to install a github desktop so you can go and install github desktop from here uh, install the github desktop from here and uh, yeah over here let's clone your this branch so let's say clone this up so once you clone this uh, repo then so what you need to do you just need to make a new branch let's say if i want to make a new branch let's say if i want to make a branch of uh, let's say testing i'm just creating a branch and uh, over here let's say if i want to open this in visual studio code so if i open that in the visual studio code and over here we'll see the entire things goes around and now once you commit the changes right and over here you will see there's an option of adding a co-authors right so you can add a co-author so over here let's say you can add a co-author of a friend name let's say add a javascript spam right over here you can even add description to that let's say you can provide a description of uh, hello commit changes and uh, then push this and uh, then publish this as a pr now it's asking you to create a, a pr to this current branch let's add a pr to this so we can add hello and something like that and just add a pr to this and uh, so once you, your pr is over here you will see that there are two authors co-authors right over here right and then you can able to squash and merge or you can even do the regular merging let's say if, you can, if i do the regular merging over here it's still the same and if you go to a profile you will see that this new batch has been added to your profile right that's the entire process of claiming that these batches and i hope you learned something exciting um this this video is only to help the people out to claim the batches and use these batches in a right sense right that's the entire motive for this video i hope you see something uh, i hope you're using these batches for your main purposes uh, to add credibility to your main profile and uh, that's all i will see you in the next video